Builder members, today is our July 17th spy trade alert. Headline is Trump is losing his patience as the Democrats and Chinese rain on his parade. The Democrats don't want to do anything except try to get in his way. No infrastructure deal, no immigration deal. All they want to do is just try to cause as much ruckus as possible leading into the next election. And meanwhile, China is not buying any farm products, which, spoiler alert, I've been predicting for quite some time. Uh, so let's review today's trade alert results. We lost a little bit less than everyone else, and I'm going to go back in time and show you why this is perfectly okay. Uh, so the SPY traveled from $300.63 on Monday down to $298.82. So anyone just holding the SPY lost $1.81. But because we sold a call option and purchased a put option, we were able to generate a $0.65 cent profit on the call option and a $0.19 cent profit on the put option. And so that... Uh, brought our loss right at the max loss. We were not going to lose more than a dollar and that's because we put our put option, our caller, uh, about one dollar away from the current trading price. So that's great. If, if the SPY had collapsed to 290 today, we could have had investors seeing a ten dollar loss. We'd still be stuck at the exact same loss and that's because we had a contract to sell our shares at a certain price uh, which protects our capital. So it's like you're bowling with the bumpers on. We may not hit strikes every time uh, like we have been the last few trade alerts, but we're certainly not going to hit the gutter. And that's when you get a wipeout. So no matter what happens, this strategy really cannot lose a lot of money. What's important to note though, and I'm going to go back in some of our previous trade alerts. This is the VIX index, and this is the best indicator to how expensive options are priced on the SPY ETF, which can dramatically change how we go about issuing our trade alerts. And essentially, higher the VIX goes, the easier it is for us to rack up dollar to two dollar profits per trading period. And the lower the VIX goes, we have to really rely on the SPY ETF to deliver the profits. Uh, and that's because options pricing gets so cheap. So if you've noticed, as volatility crushed all the way down to 1250, we ended up in a situation where stocks were at all-time highs and the option premium was at all-time lows relative, uh, I guess the last time we got this cheap was back in April. And so during that kind of market condition, we have to let the SPY ETF deliver the profits. And it's done a beautiful job of doing that, climbing to new highs. Uh, in the meanwhile, as the VIX index climbs, we can get a little more creative. We can actually sell an in-the-money covered call, uh, buy a much cheaper put option, and then profit from the covered call getting assigned uh, on the way of the market either going up or flat or slightly down. So today's trade alert uh, does take advantage of this slight pickup of volatility and you'll see when we get to 15, 17, or 20, option prices essentially quadruple and then re-quadruple every couple dollars that we travel up higher. And so all of a sudden we can be selling a deep in the money covered call and profit if the market goes higher. Uh, so we'll go back and look at how we racked up a huge profit during this period when volatility was high and it started to reduce in May. And we'll also look at how we might adjust our strategy if we really thought the market was headed lower. So let's go look at today's current trade alert. This is the risk profile. We're essentially set up to profit if we go down to 299.34, we break even. Uh, and if we go up, we can make up to $50 a contract. The worst we can walk away in this trade alert is down 96 bucks. So we have. Uh, a high win rate ratio, uh, but we're going a two to one ratio. So we can lose twice as much as we can win, but this puts our probability of winning extremely high. So the first step is to close out last week's trade. So we sold the 301 call option and we're going to buy to close it for a penny. You could let it expire worthless, but then you can't pick up rent between now and Friday. So we need to finance, we need to constantly finance a put option to protect against downside risk. And now we've made a choice to make this product very easy to follow. 
And to do that, we have to buy a put at all times. This caps our maximum loss. And essentially, we want to finance that for free by selling the call option. So we think on one end, the SPY is going to have a hard time getting too much higher. And on the other hand, if it were to crash, we want to own a put option to protect us from downside risk. And the big downside risk is the US-China trade war escalating and a deterioration of earnings as we go into earnings seasons. So those are the two biggest risks that are apparent in the market. And on the other side of the coin, if the market does travel higher, we don't lose. We make a great profit. Uh, this particular trade does limit our profit to 50 bucks. So um, today's trade alert is to sell to open the 299. So that's just barely 18 cents above the current trading price for a credit of 90 cents. Now you're going to get a different price. What's important are the two strike prices and the two expirations. Those are carefully chosen based on where Wall Street's putting their money. And so it's very hard to outperform the big billion dollar banks at their own game. They can manipulate the market just by buying and selling their own clients shares and they have full rights to do that. So again, we're selling to open the July 19, 299 call for 90 cents and we're buying to open the 297.50 put. Now we're in this weird period where the market's clearly having trouble breaking past this $300 price point. The trade war seems to be having some hiccups. We're not able to get the infrastructure deal, which would be a huge boom for the economy if we could approve a new trillion, two trillion dollar infrastructure plan. And so the heat's really starting to pick up, but the volatility has not spiked yet to the point where we can make a lot of money selling deep in the money covered calls, where we have a three direction profit setup. So right now we're in the middle of reacting to uh, perhaps a downturn. So again, uh, the summary is right here. The trade alert disclaimer is always at the bottom of our emails if you ever want to read that. Uh, so unlike a lot of strategies out there where you can lose a whole lot, our risk is very set and strict so that you can never lose a whole lot. So no matter what happens, we're really protected with this trade setup. And the potential profit again is $54 on the upside. Uh, and as much as $96 if we travel all the way to $297.50. Now, if we go flat or up or even slightly down, we're going to make money. And with the Fed essentially uh, highlighting that they're going to go into a deep cycle of rate cuts, uh, there's good reason for the market to go higher. The U.S. retail numbers came in hot. The bank's earnings are a little weak, but that's because rates are so low. Uh, so I think there's good reason for the market to travel higher until things do escalate. And I think that the earnings should still be strong in America, which should continue to push more capital out of all these emerging markets into the U.S. Now, for those of you who have followed our alerts for a while, we were using our call options to finance some cheap put options on FXI. We still have a lot of time for that to pay off. And I believe if the trade war does escalate, we could see this one really crank lower. So we're still long those put options and there's no uh, trade alert for those. If you miss those trades, do not try to go back and take them. Uh, we're making every trade alert self-destruct from now on. So you get in, you get out and it's over. So for those of you who did pile up in these put options on the FXI, uh, which we financed by selling call options, good for you. I'll give you the alert when it's time to sell. In the meanwhile, that's a hold. So we lost a tiny bit uh, from the previous trade alert, and that's why we don't end up with 82% returns. Uh, currently, we're up almost 9% in seven months. So we're beating our target of generating a safe 1% return per month. Uh, but what I want to do now is pull up some of our previous trade alerts during a period of uh, volatility in the SPY. So our program launched on December 12th, had to live through this huge, horrific crash where the SPY went down from 260 to 234. Then it rocketed up almost insanely uh, until March. We had a small sell-off, rocketed up to May. We had a pretty nasty month, and then we rocketed up to new highs. So the question is, are we going to enter a new downward trend? Uh, or is this just a small little sell-off like we had in the end of June? And so 
in general, we're not trying to predict what's going to happen. We're going with the momentum of the market. We're looking at where Wall Street put its bets. And we're setting ourselves up to have a very controlled risk with a very consistent high ratio, high win rate profit. Okay, so what we're pulling up is just a few of our trade alerts over the past several months. And I just want to show you the growth in our return on investment and show you that even though when the market does pull back, if we're in a bullish stance, we're going to lose less than everyone else. And when the market does rally back higher, we're really able to rack up profits quickly. And so the biggest crash recently was in May, but there's been plenty of pullbacks throughout the whole period. So April 15th, we're at a 6.6% return. April 22, we jumped to a 7.19, 38,000 profit. 429, we jump to a 39,000 profit, 7.35. 51, we jump to a 39,000 profit, 7.3. So not much of a change. We actually lost uh, five basis points on that. Jump to May 15th. We're in the middle of this huge sell-off, a month-long sell-off. We lose a 1%. The market was down more like 3 to 5% from the peak. Uh, so we're definitely reducing the losses during the pullback. Volatility is spiking higher. This is what we want. We want volatility to spike really high. We want to be able to mitigate the losses and make them as little as possible and then be set to make ultra high profits as the market either goes flat or rebounds and vo volatility collapses. And so that's what we want as long as we're focused on a market going sideways or higher, which is currently what I'm looking at. Uh, but of course, my biggest fear is that the U.S.-China trade war escalates, and this could be very negative for stocks. Now, of course, that's why it's so important you follow our Thursday trade to get the most out of that. Uh, we go to the next period. This is the end of the crash. We went from uh, a high of 7.3 to a low of 6.17, and the market gave up around 5% during that period. So we really did a good job mitigating that. And you'll see as the volatility index gets higher, we'll get more and more defensive with our covered call and our put. Uh, and then after the market rebounded, the profits start to rocket higher, 7.7, 8.19, 8.19, 9.47 was, I believe, our all-time high so far. And then we had the G20 meeting. I aimed our positions to profit big time if we went down, but not to lose much if I was wrong. I was wrong. Uh, but I was worried if they were going to escalate, it could potentially be over that 4th of July weekend. Uh, so we were playing it safe. The news was that they're going to buy farm products and we're going to not raise tariffs. Well, it's been two weeks. There's no farm products being purchased. Uh, so I think tariffs will go up next. Um, so what are we sitting at today? The 8.8. .8. So it shows you how we can mitigate risk and profit big time as volatility collapse. So that's the trailer for today. We have a webinar uh, coming up for our paid members in about an hour. And then we have a free webinar tomorrow. So look for your emails for information on how to join that. We will send out the recording of the freebie to our free trials and the paid one to our paid members. So thanks again. And uh, whale trade alert Thursday. That's a TLT position tomorrow. Running out of time to get this out to you. So thanks and look for another update tomorrow morning.